A violent night in the city. Three police involved shooting taking place within several hours of one another across three separate boroughs. Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti. She joins us live from one police plaza with what we know about these incidents. Good morning, Briella. What can you tell us? Yeah, good morning to both of you, Tashani and Dan. Uh, police say that all three people who were shot were armed and threatened officers. One of the shootings in Bedsty, Brooklyn, was fatal, and police are trying to figure out exactly what may have transpired. Originally, a burglary was reported there. Now, detectives don't even believe that one actually took place before a 78 year old man charged at cops with his gun. This is a, a tragic situation. NYPD Chief of Department Jeffrey Madger he says two of his officers were put in a life or death situation when they were forced to shoot and kill a 78 year old Brooklyn man who charged at them with a gun. Police got the initial 911 call at around 2.30 in the afternoon yesterday for reports of a burglary in progress at an apartment on Lewis Avenue in bed -Stuy. The nephew of the victim is the one who called the cops, fearful that someone was breaking into his uncle's home. Madry told reporters what happened next was caught on body camera footage. The two uniformed officers walked into the building, up the stairs, into a narrow hallway, and knocked on the door. The 78-year-old man partially opened it up and then and pulled out his gun. Officers observed the firearm. They started yelling no. They start retreating. The male raises the firearm up and actually steps out the apartment with the firearm pointed at the officers. The two officers both discharged their weapons. The male was hit numerous times in the body. The officers performed CPR until EMS arrived on scene. Neither of them were struck. The 78-year-old man, whose name has not been released, was rushed to the hospital but later died. Never seen anything like it out here. Um, occasionally at night, but um, not to this level. They need to clean up the streets. There's too many guns out here. About an hour after that incident, police responded to another 911 call on 161st Street in Jamaica, Queens for reports of a man armed with a knife. According to the NYPD, a security guard at a nearby church came out to help and he was stabbed in the stomach. When officers arrived, they say the suspect came at them while waving the knife, so they opened fire. Our officers give commands to drop the knife, which he does not. Our officers discharge their firearms two times each, striking the individual two times, and he's removed to a local hospital. Our officers removed to a local hospital also, and the 40 year security guard stabbed one time, was removed to the local hospital. And at about 8 o'clock last night in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx, police responded to a call for a man with a gun on the train tracks near Broadway and West 231st Street. When they arrived, he reportedly pointed the gun at them. The suspect then tried to take off but ended up getting shot in the hand by an officer. He was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. And this country is as a wild, wild west. I'm not shocked because it seems to keep happening over and over and over again. The state attorney general's office has opened an investigation into the death of that 78-year-old man in Brooklyn, which is standard procedure under New York state law. That man, according to police, had no prior interaction with law enforcement or any arrest history. For now, though, we're live outside One Police Plaza. Dan and Deshani, back to you. Briella, thank you.